So now let's move away from Karen Horney and talk a little bit about Eric Fromm. Um, Eric Fromm and um, his theory around personality, um, one of his thoughts and one of his um, uh, theories relates to his uh, character orientations. And he believed, you know, pretty strongly that character is something that stems from both our genetic inheritance and from our learning experiences. And, and some aspects of our character are hereditary and other aspects stem from uh, the things that we learn from home and at school and from society and those experiences that we have in life. Um, and of course, there's the interplay of the two influences. And he believed really that, um, that character is difficult to change. It's deeply ingrained in us. Um, however, being aware of our tendencies and being committed to change can help inspire that change. That was his sort of idea. Um, the different traits that emerge from the um, different of the five different character types have both positive and negative aspects. However, he generally viewed the first four orientations as unproductive. And so we have the uh, receptive orientation. This is where the person looks outside of him or herself for self-fulfillment. So he or she is overly dependent and always looking for someone to, um, you know, be looking for someone uh, to love and nurture him or her. Um, and then there's the exploitative orientation. Um, in this orientation, the person also regards the source of all good things to be external. However, um, he or she goes after them in a more manipulative, um, cunning sort of way. And so again, not so great in terms of um, the way to be in society um, or how to be with uh, in your interpersonal dynamics. Then we have uh, the hoarding orientation. And in this orientation, the person is characterized by miserliness and compulsive orderliness and obstinacy. Um, and so he or she is obsessed with um, guarding his possessions. Um, and so that's the orientation there. We have the um, marketing orientation. And this one is where the person regards him or herself as a, um, a sellable uh, commodity. Um, he or she tries to be with others or want, wants others to be with him or her and in the process represses his or her real self in doing so. And so those are the four uh, that Fromm sort of considered to be not sort of the, the greatest um, uh, orientation types. And then we finally have the productive character type and this is the one that he deemed um, more uh, positive in its um, influence. And this is the type of person who takes their negative feelings and channels the energy um, into productive work. Uh, the focus is on building, loving, and nurturing, and meaningful relationships with other people. It applies not only to the romantic relationships that they're in, but to other like relationships with family and friends and any kind of social relationship. They're often described as, you know, a good person, a good spouse, a good parent, good coworker. And so again, out of those five, Fromm really believed that this productive character orientation is the healthiest approach or the only really healthy approach um, to dealing with the anxiety that results from the conflict between the need for freedom and the need to belong. And so be sure to read about uh, Eric Fromm in your, um, in your chapter also, and maybe be thinking about these characters um, and or these character orientations and think about people that you know that maybe um, are oriented in one or another of the ways. Um, and do they seem to relate to character types today? Um, or do you think that there might be some changes that would be needed in those theories? So that's Eric, that's from, and um, I think that'll be all the lectures I post for this week's um, this week's uh, psychoanalytic theory on personality. So again, just make sure you're you're diving into the chapter and looking at the powerpoints, and um, really kind of getting a good grasp on the theory uh, for this week. Hope you enjoy it, and I will see you soon.